Then the backyard brawl is underway for the touchback. Last week, but he warmed up and looked fine. And the Australian hits a good punt. MJ Devonshire, the return man. One of the heroes of Pitt's win in the backyard brawl. They feel they can feature. Jakovic for a big man can run. He has the first down and he's across midfield. Touchdown run in their opener against Wofford. And if you look at the end of the line of scrimmage, Tieran Bradley running with that running back. As a result, Jerkovic gets that pull read. He takes it around the edge and a good job out in front by Bub Means. Came in highly touted. Has had just two catches. Plenty of room outside to the right. Hammond again. First down and much more. Gavin Bartholomew out. This is where they like to target him on the field. Sebo Flemister now the running back. One of those three we mentioned. And he weaves his way for a first down and much more inside the 10. Love to run it. And they're playing power football to start the backyard brawl. And a nice shot, too, by number 68, Blaze Zubovic. He's a turning kicker. Had an excellent year last year. 20 out of 24, including 5 for 5 in the Sun Bowl. More physical play in practice, and clearly the first drive was a bit of a statement. Ben Sauls kicks off. This one is returnable from the six-yard line for Beanie Bishop, a transfer from Minnesota. And he's down. Donaldson powerfully ahead for the first down. He's 6'1", 238. Loss of a yard on the play. Sebo Flemister remains the running back. Play fake to him. Jerkovic down in the flat. Donate Mumfield stopped short of the first down. The ball came out. Now Nears claiming it's their ball. Hershey McLaurin. Let's take a look. You see that ball out away from Mumfield. Ooh. Man. I think that ball's wobbling around. That ball is definitely moving. It was that knee down before it was. They're 0 for 3 on third down. Now they've converted one. Third down and 12. The clock runs down to a minute to go in the half. Plenty of time, Jerkovic, and the catch is made. Bob Means involved in the action finally. 11 times, and there are no completions. And that's just not going to cut it, but here he gets targeted. You see the ball right on target. Nice trajectory to allow Bob Means to track it in, and a good job of separating there. Nico Marchiol, the backup quarterback. Donaldson for five more. Molly? Looking pretty comfortable early. They follow the tight end. Taylor Lee blocker and Donaldson. Down in distance field position. If you had a fake, you might try it. He thought for a moment about something and then kicked it away. And they're going to down it inside the two. West Virginia, as you can see, the progressive pylon cam just Excellent work there by Malachi Ruffin, who's starting at corner since the passing of his dad. Play fake. And Markiol is sacked by Solomon DeShields. Goes for it a lot on fourth down. They have Taylor go across the formation again, leading the way for Jalen Anderson. And a first down for West Virginia. And you're going to see a defensive lineman kind of shoot across, kind of out of position, really takes himself out of position. And there's nobody there on the left side of the offensive line. West Virginia, this will be the eighth play. Mark Eels two out of two. They missed the handoff and turn it over. He got crossed up with C.J. Donaldson, and Bam Brema recovered the fumble. Snaps just a little bit to the right of Markiel. He never really was able to secure it. And as the back, Donaldson's going across, just never really has possession of the ball. And what was a really well-executed drive ends as a result of a stake. First and goal from the seventh.
Cole Taylor. They've been doing this all night long, but he has been blocking. Instead here, he releases out into the flats. And how about the job out in front, too, by Cortez Bram locking up that corner. I'm a little surprised they haven't thrown it more, given it's been a few years now that West Virginia has struggled in pass defense. Jerkovic throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted by that secondary. second team a year ago and you see them cloud to the field it's extremely well covered and a terrible decision by Phil Jerkovic he's a sixth year player you cannot throw it late back across your body it's going to be intercepted every time Ooh. and as you see the hit being delivered there to Jerkovic as he was on the move what a huge swing for the Mountaineers Jalen Davis went in motion. Donaldson chopped down by Donovan McMillan, or that might have gone a long way. Great action here, similar to what they worked with earlier in the ball game. This is just counter action, though, where they bring two tight ends across. WVU on the move. Donaldson inside the five. Touchdown saving tackle. And a similar play that they ran with success a little earlier, just a little counter action. You get the two tight ends, Davis and Taylor, out in front. Good job, too, by Markiel carrying out his fake and kind of holding some defenders himself as Donaldson gashes it through for another nice game. Donaldson, the running back, on the left hip of Nico Markiel, the backup quarterback, who's played solidly. Touchdown, C.J. Donaldson. Here comes a penalty. That's just really dumb. Rips his helmet off. By the really ill-advised penalty after the touchdown. And he, just a great job by the left side. They bring in the backup left tackle, Nick Malone, number 88. He carves it out, and they make a play. Against number four for taking his helmet off. That was the first pass of the second half for Jerkovic. Deep drop. Wants to fling it down the field, and he threw an interception. Picked off by Beanie Bishop, Jr. And he is still going. All the way to the pit 30. And just another terrible decision from Phil Jerkovic. There's nothing there. Look at all these defenders way out in coverage. Back, back. You got a guy right over the middle. That's your check down. That's your outlet. Throw it to him. Instead, he forces it downfield. And it's an easy interception for the West Virginia defense. He was pressured more than any quarterback in the country. Here's a big field goal attempt. 42 yards and just inside. The right upright for Michael Hayes as a West Virginia Mountaineer, and it is good. Transferred in from Georgia State, where he was their kicker last year, also punted at Georgia State. Nice little controlled draw right inside that right upright. Looks like your swing out there. They're getting better. The question will be, will there be enough improvement? They're picked to finish at the bottom of the Big 12 this year. They think they're better than that. Hayes' kickoff down to Johnson. Kenny Johnson, nice return to the 32. Here's Kevin Nagandi. Duquesne last week, Pittsburgh tonight, and Texas Tech here next Saturday. After the play fig, Margio on target and a nice catch by Preston Fox on scholarship, a 14-yard play. And they've gone with the RPO a couple times, but the RPO has been a slant that time. They get Preston Fox on the out route. Ball's thrown slightly inside. Had a punt return touchdown last year, 82 yards against Rhode Island. They go with his two interception returns for touchdown. Oh, that's a shank. Don't know if it was deflected at the line of scrimmage, but Pitt's going to have the ball in West Virginia territory. Well, Rasheem Biles, the 31 on the other side. Yeah, he got a piece of it. It wasn't a shank, it was blocked by Biles. They blocked two punts last year. So they're on their own five, down by two scores, under four minutes to go. 
And with an offense that's done very little, well, that's a big play to Gavin Bartholomew. That's going to be the longest play of the night from scrimmage for either team. He's accurate. Not these last couple of weeks. They have to have it or they won't get it. Down he goes. Back inside the 15 in the arms of Tyron Bradley. Just an excellent rush. High on the left side. And then you go up and under on the right side. Look at Bradley set up the right tackle. Branson Taylor slips inside and drops Jerkovic as he's stepping up because he feels that backside pressure. Just a perfectly executed pass rush. Never really felt like they were able to do that tonight. And it's really not you know, adjusting to a new system because they're playing the same system that they played at Boston College. Almost another interception, and it is picked off on the ricochet. Malachi Ruffin. Marcus Floyd, who made a big play on the fourth down stop of Jakovic on the failed sneak. Got a hand on it. And West Virginia, after it got away in heartbreaking fashion in the fourth quarter last year at Pittsburgh, is going to win the 106th backyard brawl. A huge win for Neil Brown.